back here from White House Field on the Angler's Extra pregame show. It's time for the manager show with John Schiffner. I'm Dominic Catronio. Hey, you know, winning, winning streaks bound to come to an end at some point. Last night, a tough one for your team. What do you try to take away from last night's loss to YD? Well, we just, you know, say, okay, we they got us, and we come back and play hard tonight. That's, that's pretty much it. You know, we're, you know, we're fine with that. Uh, uh, you know, we didn't play particularly well, and, uh, you know, Zach didn't have his real, real good stuff, and uh, that's something, you know, Zach and uh, Bono will work on and figure it out. And then uh, we, we kind of, the bats kind of went to sleep. So, you know, and, and again, there's a reason why the kid's 5-0. and oh. He's pretty good. So, uh, you know, I don't, I, I think it, it, you take away going, wow, that guy's good. You know, we got, if we get him again, we got to figure out what we can do. Tonight you got Garrett Williams on your mound tonight. He started four games last summer for you, and now he's making his first start for here this summer. He came coming off of a really good appearance on July 4th in Orleans. How does that work with starting and relieving for pitchers coming from their schools? Is that kind of what the coach wants you to do? How does that communication happen? Well, they asked if he could start, but the you know the good thing about a lot of these college coaches is, hey, Chef, he's your player. You do what you need to do with him. But if you can give him a few starts, we'd really appreciate it. And that's something that uh, Josh Holiday from Okie State asked, and we'll accommodate. And we've been trying to do that. That's why so many of these guys are rotating through. They, they're most of these guys were starting pitchers at school and we want to accommodate. We also want to keep the innings down. So that's why some of these guys are not going to be starting this next rotation. And guys that had not started yet will start. So we're, we're trying to keep the arms fresh, trying to accommodate the college coaches, trying to get these guys some exposure. For Garrett, what do you think he needs to make? Uh, does he need to make any adjustment going from relieving to starting? What do you want to see him doing as far as pitch-wise? No, he's done well, and uh, I think the biggest thing is confidence for Garrett and uh, to trust his stuff. He really has, and I don't throw this term out a lot, he has electric stuff. It's it's really, really good, and if he can figure out you know, how to put away hitters on a consistent basis, he's got a chance to be a big leaguer. What defines electric for you? What what are the parameters for that? Well, first of all, you just run that fastball up there, 93, 94 miles an hour. That's pretty electric. And then he just snaps that curveball, and it is a devastating curveball. It's a knee-buckling curveball to the lefty. And if you're a right-handed hitter and you're thinking that's a fastball away and, and all of a sudden it comes in back door on you, or, you're, again, if you're another right-handed hitter and it looks like it's going to be fastball in a little bit and all of a sudden you think you can turn on it and the thing drops it, uh, drops off the table and almost bites your back foot and you swing and miss it, that's electric stuff. He has that stuff. If he's consistent, he's, you know, he's going to be really, really good. Well, the bullpen was very, very good last night again for you guys. Yep. Who do you look to tonight to maybe come out after Garrett? Uh, we've got McGarrity, Miller, maybe. Uh, I'm looking over the bullpen. I just saw that uh, – Godfrey through, so he'd be off, so it would be um, Burdick, Miller, McGarity. There's somebody else in there. that we, we, we're, we're in good shape. we got four ready to roll um, and a day off tomorrow, so we can extend if we have to. Day off tomorrow and a new guy coming to town with Zach Birdie. What's the status of his coming to Chatham back? Uh, Zach is on a flight. He should be in town middle of the afternoon. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll get him rolling as soon as he's ready to go. He should be ready to go. He he threw three innings late last week, and he had thrown he thrown about six innings in four or five days. So he said, you know, I, I need to shut it down for not shut it down, just take a little break, and that's fine. And that should put him on schedule, be ready to roll when you know we crank it up on Tuesday. Yesterday, the team said goodbye to Corey Raley. What do you think he brought to your team as he heads back to Texas Tech? Well, he brought it. You know, he's an older player. He's uh, he was a junior. Uh, he'd been to the wars. He'd been to the College World Series. Um, seen a lot of really good baseball. But he's played a lot of positions. Uh, good right-handed bat, good running speed. Played, you know, he played left field for us. I remember the catch he made one night, just you know, came out of nowhere and dropped it into second gear and came out and made a really nice play. Two days before that, he had turned a beautiful double play against Hyannis to help save a, a doubleheader sweep. So uh, we're going to miss him. He's a good player and he was a, a good kid to have in the team. He just had a real nice, even keel attitude about him. So yeah, we'll miss him. It's uh, you know, he's got to get that arm checked out. Back here in Harwich, though, for you, back here for your playing days, what are yes. your, your fondest memories of here in Harwich? Oh, God, uh, everything. It was a great great experience here. My manager, Fred Abbott, the wonderful, wonderful person, uh, just, a, just a great guy to be around, great baseball person. Uh, just, uh, just a lot of stuff. This is, uh, I love the ballpark. I love the setting. No, it's been a, it's, it was a great experience, and it, it, it gave me the, it wet my appetite to stay. And, you know, as you can see, I'm still here. He's still here, still looking to keep another win going, get a new win streak going here from White House Field. That's your manager show with John Schiffner. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Dom. That's it for us over here. Johnny, take it away.